Well, um, today is December 30th, 2013, and I figured I would do another video. Uh, I'm actually going to do, well, actually two videos tonight. I'm going to do one for both the um, Tunlier Windows SSH client, or Tunlier, I don't know, however the heck you say it. but So this is uh, the Bitvise Tunlier SSH client, and then um, the next video I'm going to show the server, but I'll do the client first. Um, Oops. Um, okay, so I'm gonna open it because I already installed it, so you guys don't have to watch this. Um, like, I love um, I love this thing. Too bad I don't have any servers actually to connect to, but I can at least uh, go over it. So we have a ton of different things here. There's like a zillion tabs. This thing is like really um, feature rich. So. So let's see. So on the login tab, um, we have the uh, the host. So that's what um, that would be like the, n the name of the server and the port, which is usually twenty two, but you can override that if you want to. Um, the name of the proxy server, which I wouldn't be worrying about because this is actually my. Um, um, SSH client of choice because it's just, I don't know, it's just so easy to use. It's like really awesome. Um, ho uh, ho host key manager, that um, that's that has to do with um, server authentication, I think. Um, SPN, that's the principal name that has to do with. Um, uh, security principal name I think that is has to do with uh, Active Directory because you can actually do um, a uh, bleh, SSH uh, and use your Active Directory credentials and this client actually supports it which is really awesome so and then you can do um, SSPI Kerberos 5 that all depends on how you're logging in and then you can um, choose the type of uh, method that the you know server will uh, try to use depending on what the server is configured as you can configure that on the client and then the password edit field you can um, you can store an encrypted password in the profile but right now that's unchecked and then um, the user key pair manager that's for um, that's for you um, client authentication with the server that's using um, uh, public key authentication, and then that's just um, and then you can log in. Then you can exit. You can um, load a profile, save a profile, which I don't have any at the moment. So, and we've got a bunch of options here. What's this? Um, you can say that's uh, reconnection timeout, so that's important. Like if you like lose the connection due to like the you know network going wonky or something, which can always happen. Um, show authentication banner. Uh, log out when session activity is over. Um, you can tell it what to do. You can. Uh, you know, you can tell it to log when you log on. You can tell it to open um, certain things. You can do terminal. You can do um, SFTP, RDP, which we're going to be doing a ton of RDP. Once I set up the um, Power Edge, you bet that's going to be R. Uh, if I have to use RDP, that's going to be RDP over SSH. So, what the? Oh, okay, that wasn't in there twice. I was like, what the heck? Did they put that in there twice? <laughs> and then, I don't, I don't know what, the, what that is. Exe uh, execute text? What the heck is that? I have no idea. And then there's, there's another thing that says execute, so I don't know what that is, guys. I'll have to look that up. 
and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, LSP, I think, I feel like, I feel like I, that has to do something with the internet. I'm not quite sure what that is, but. So you've got options, terminal, um, SFTP services, um, client to server, SSH connection, uh, server to client. SSH and then about so let's look at the let's look at the terminal um, let's see so you can use Xterm which is uh, m most people using Xterm would be uh, either on uh, Unix or Linux or one of those um, so you can do um, BV term, which is uh, Bitfi's terminal emulation, which that is just a Windows feature. That's like specifically for Windows. Um, according to uh, Rob Reynolds, developer of um, Chocolatey, he says that works really well um, with uh, PowerShell REPL, which is wonderful because I'll probably be doing PowerShell remoting over SSH as well. Uh, no, I have no idea how the heck I'm going to uh, set that up, but that's another video for another day. But anyway, I'm going to be doing that, and uh, so he says that works really well, hence why I downloaded this client, because it works for what I need to do. Uh, or you can do um, you can do ANSI. Who the heck would be using that anymore? That's like so old. VT100, uh, that's another term um, terminal emulation protocol um, uh, X term like I said is uh, the Linux Unix um, Sigwin or X term 16 color <laughs> that's like 16 bit um, and then use BB term if available so that's a good thing um, encoding UTF-8 I always just leave it at UTF-8. That's always like the safest thing to do. Uh, screen width is 80. Tw uh, height is 25. I don't fool with that really. Uh, I don't really care. Maybe we'll beeping. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, you can do X11 forwarding, which I certainly wouldn't be doing because that's like totally graphical and it wouldn't really be very useful for me. Uh, you can do uh, cursor keys. I'm not quite sure what that's for, but okay. So Here's our remote desktop. That's not actually, I'm not really sure what those are, so I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go uh, look those up. Oh, well, the computer name is pretty obvious, but some of the other ones on there aren't exactly obvious, so I'll have to take a look at that. Oh, yeah, and SFTP is, like, awesome. Oh, <laughs> an SFTP has a really awesome feature that uh, where you can actually do SFTP bridge, so it can bridge a normal FTP connection um, and essentially turn it into secure FTP, which is pretty cool. Uh, what is this? Auto mode. Hold on, I gotta. Yeah, I'll leave it on default. I don't know what that is. Upload mode. What the heck? I have no idea what that is. So I'm going to have to uh, leave that at the default. Then you've got all your directory settings here. Um, 
You can do resumes, auto overwrite. Um, yeah, so that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Oh, um, so yeah, so it's FTP to SFTP, which is pretty cool. I'm not really sure what has to be done on the server side to set that up, but uh, good thing I won't have to worry about that because I'll be actually doing like actual FTP or uh, SFTP rather, so I won't have to worry about it. But that's enabled if I if I ever needed the FTP to SFTP bridge, so. Oh, okay. So that's like for server. That's like for port forwarding crap. I'm not really gonna worry about that um, until uh... now. I might have to worry about that. I'm not sure, but it all depends on what we're gonna be doing. But that's gonna be for the um, um, accesscop.org setup in the future. So that will be great. And then you can do encryption, different encryptions. You can do AES, two fish, which I've never even heard of. Oh, sorry, AES 256, two fish 256, AES 128, or two fish 128. I'm not really sure the difference. Oh, blowfish, I've heard of that. Um, ARC4, never heard of it. And I don't know what. Okay, that's really weird. Why would you even bother with an SSH connection that has no encryption? But okay, <laughs> that's an option on here. You guys can see that. I don't know. I have no idea what's up with that. But okay. Oh, and then you can do like um, SHA one, MD five. Yeah. So. Oops. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then we just have the About tab, which is a license thing, which for what we're doing, um, I don't need a license because I'm not like in a business environment, so I don't need to activate it. You know, it's uh, free for anybody who's not like in a commercial environment, which we're not, so. Yeah, so uh that's that's pretty much it. Um yeah. So that is um Tunlier, aka Bitvise SSH client. So um I'll be right back. I'm gonna do a video of uh the server options now because um Yeah. Or yeah, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna install that and then I'll um I'll show you guys that. So uh I'll be back in a bit. Oops. <laughs> 